What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today we're going to be talking about Karin. Uh, she's going to be on the second banner. They finally tweeted it out. Uh, we're going to talk about like how you can use her, PvE, PvP, um, and just you know just discuss her. But anyways, if you guys like the video, go ahead and the like button. Comment down below what you guys think about Karin, and then go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoy the content, and hit the bell notification. That way you can know when I upload. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Alright, so I know most of us know about Karin, but I'm going to go over her real quick. Uh, there's not too much to really say about her other than what we already know, right? Anyway, she is from the Millennium School, which is um, unfortunate because we just had four back-to-back. -back. She wields a sniper rifle, though. Uh, she is a special unit off-field, um, but she's an attacker. She's going to be a D in urban, an S in uh, field, and a B in indoor. She is going to be a penetration unit, so like for PvP, she is a Hoshino counter for those of you who are having issues with hoshino she gets like extra attack and crit on the hat and then crit rate crit damage on the watch uh 336 attack is decent right um but like she has like a um passive skill and sub skill that helps with attack but like this is pretty decent here for a special unit honestly her crit rate and crit damage is just pretty average stability is high that way she can do you know pretty much her highest amount of damage whenever she does damage her ex skill though it deals 687 percent of attack is damage to one enemy deals 481 percent additional damage to extra large enemies uh cost four so this is really good for um pve wise it's really good for like bina uh chested it does a high amount of damage single instant and then it will do the additional damage right so this will do high damage in pve this will never happen in pvp uh, it'll just do, you know, the 687. Uh, again, it'll hurt Hoshino. Subaki, if you put a lot of investment into it, it can, like, half health the Subaki, you know, or really hurt someone's Subaki. Because, like, most people have, like, you know, T4, T5 gear on their Subaki, so it's not going to really kill them. But it'll do a high amount of damage, right? It's never going to hit the back line, unfortunately. Some people try to tell me that it does, and I've done over a 1,000 arenas, and it's never happened. So, yeah. Unless Shun like runs up to the front uh then possibly but no more times than not it's either gonna hit it's just gonna hit the tank so it can do damage to like uh yuka and hoshino to where it can hurt them but then again yuka could just dodge it right so um but anyways for like the raids and stuff this is a really good ability uh because like in the early game karin kind of helped carry me in the leaderboards for bina Basic skill uh, deals 223% of attack as damage to one enemy every 40 seconds. Has a 50% chance to inflict a stun. Now, uh, for PvE, this stun is, um, like, is alright. Uh, honestly, you're just going for the damage. Because you don't know who is going to stun, and there's usually so many enemies that this is just kind of random, right? But the amount of damage, like, it does is good for you if you, you know, like, want her to shoot up and just you know do something for your raids but it is like every 40 seconds so this is like <laughs> this is a little uh long of a cooldown between like the in this instance of damage and then like for pvp but that stun be like happening sometimes that stun doesn't even happen um or like you know it it's just so minuscule because like it stuns a subaki but then like you know it doesn't really change anything for you in the match half the time so the skill is like, it's all right. Uh, enhanced skill increases her attack. Uh, this does help for whenever she does her basic skill or then also her EX skill damage. Um, so just helps her damage out overall. And then the sub skill increases ally attack. This is good um, for like, even if you wanted to save for PVP, you can help your people do more damage. Uh, for PVE, it helps your people do more damage, like just overall, just giving them like a decent, you know, boost of attack. Uh, I mean, there are some other sub skills you might want to use, like crit damage or so. But the attack, if like you don't have Hebe or anything like that, is pretty good. Um, you know, I do see people use Karin in PvP because she can like lower the health of a Tsubaki to make it easier for people to kill if she hits, right? So there is some like usage to her in pvp like i used her for the longest time when i first uh grinded up to rank one so 
a lot of people like her. Uh, she's a lot of people's, uh, you know, waifus. But, like, overall, I mean, you know, she's a single target unit. She's mainly for Bina, not really for Chessid. Uh, like, you can still use her for Chessid, but she's really for being a single target. Um, I mean, we already, you know, have so many penetration units. And I do feel like we're going to be getting a lot of good specials here coming up especially like a lot of people are waiting for like you know swimsuit mashiro and then uh there's notica for pvp uh, so you know like i would rather use notica than karen honestly for pvp uh just because of what notica has in her you know kit but you know that's pretty much all i have for karen she's already been out in the game and it's totally up to you if you want to summon for her I, again she's really great for being a like in raids and everything like that pvp not so much because she just gets outclassed with everybody else but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you lucky gamers have a good one lucky lux out <laughs>